We are now recording. What happened to your arm? Oh, um, <laughs> I was going to wear long sleeves so you can see it. So um, I've got an amazing number of mosquito bites, and they're making me have an allergic reaction. It's nasty, so that's why I've got band-aids on. Ugh. I, that's one thing I really like about Seattle is we don't really have mosquitoes. Yeah, that is um, most of the places here up the mountain where we live don't have mosquitoes, but we live right next to um, what we call a gulch here, which is like basically where the mountain made itself a drainage ditch kind of thing. And so when it rains, it gets all full of water and then all the mosquitoes come out. And I am fairly highly allergic to mosquito bites. Even after living here for almost two years, I still like it super gross. So, yeah, it's fun. But we just got some traps that seem to actually be working. Most Good. mosquito traps do not work, just FYI. Because mosquitoes, oh, so here's, here's your science fact for, for all of our listeners or watchers. Um, so mosquitoes don't actually hunt via sight, they hunt via CO2. So if you get a mosquito trap and it says that it attracts them with one of those blue lights, they are lying to you. That does not attract mosquitoes, that attracts everything else. So all you catch is a bunch of moths. And then, uh, and then when you turn it off because you wanna dump out all the dead moths, then um, geckos get into it and they start eating all the dead moths and it's really gross. Nice. Yeah. Living in the tropics. Ooh, and we also have these giant armored centipedes, which are super scary. And some of them are really venomous and can put you in the hospital. Nice. Yeah. So um, you know how people on the mainland like rake up their leaves in the fall and then jump in them? Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen here because if you rake up the leaves, you've also probably raked up some centipedes and that's a bad idea. I'm in Hawaii for anybody who's like, this is a perplexing information about a place. <laughs> I was, ne I never, um... I think the raking up your leaves and jumping into the pile is more of an East Coast thing. Hmm. I mean, well, at least not a Northwest thing. Like we don't have we don't have um, fall leaves the way the rest of the country has. You know, so you like don't have oak trees and maple trees. What do, do you have? We do, but a lot of our trees are also just evergreens. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have the primeval evergreen forest stuff going on in the Pacific Northwest. When I went to Oregon for graduation, everybody was laughing at me because I was taking pictures of like the giant ferns that were under the trees and all of that stuff. People were like, do you not have this on the East Coast? I was like, no. No, when there's stuff under the trees on the East Coast, it's like brambles. It's ugly. <laughs> Sickly little poison ivies, things like that. <laughs> oh, side note, Hawaii doesn't have poison ivy. But lots of mosquitoes instead. I do love it here though. <laughs> Despite the mosquitoes. <laughs> okay. Uh, for people who are watching this, <laughs> <laughs> this is Mark and Alyssa play Gloomhaven. We are. This is like episode nine, I think. Hmm? Maybe episode nine-ish. Yeah, I I I have the last one, which is just from two days ago, but I, it's all processed on my computer. I just haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet. So both of these are going to get uploaded probably tomorrow. Um, so you'll get a double feature. <laughs> Four straight hours, of Mark and Melissa. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> I highly recommend playing it at like 1.5 speed <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like watching, you know, The Expanse instead or something. <laughs> Put on something in the background and just check in with us periodically. <laughs> yeah. But um, for some reason we decided to do this uh, as a vlog type of thing and it's going to take us like a year to get through it all. Um, <laughs> and now that we're doing it, uh, I think we've, we're committed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I think I'm set up now. 
I, I think I am set up as well. I have a huge pile of like things over here. Yeah. For the next rooms. I'm got all ready. It. Ooh, nice. With the toucan on. I'm still drinking coffee because it's earlier here. <laughs> Did you it's just explode fun. the beer all over yourself? No, it's a it's a can with one of those balls in it. Oh, nice! A draft can. Um. Yeah. Okay. So to catch up, catch people up. If you didn't watch the last episode, which you haven't, because we didn't upload it yet. right before this one. Um, um, we were able to get the thingamabobber for the enchanter to help us track down Jexera, and then she gave us some leads, and this is one of the leads that we are now following up on. Some of the leads we couldn't follow because we sort of lost track of the fact we were supposed to be defeating the gloom and went off on this, like, epic side quest, which is now our main quest. Yeah. It so... The gloom could wait. Yeah. But the now, gloom is, like, maybe they're converging. Possibly. So, yeah, so now we're at a vibrant grotto. And we have to loot all of the treasure tiles, which is problematic because I, because I don't have any loot ac actions as the tankerer. And uh, the special rule is that we can't use end of turn looting to loot. So this should be hard. We might be able to do a speed run though. We don't actually have to kill anyone. And so maybe That's there's true. a way to just like run through it, try to loot everything and just kite all the monsters or something or somehow just stay out of their range. That's easier for you than me. But if you want, I can just you can like... Provide a decoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can only use the decoy once. Yeah, I can't. And I can't cast retrieve on myself. I can only cast retrieve on you for like getting stuff out of the lost <laughs> file. So this is going to be awesome. Yeah, if this were a video game, here's what would happen. Um, I would run through the whole thing once just to unlock all the rooms and so all the enemies appear. And then <laughs> we cast decoy and I would try to kite them all into the same room and then go through the whole thing again to get all the treasure. I mean, we could try that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to die pretty quickly because <laughs> I am not quick. I have all of my traps and stuff that I have to drag around with me, so I'm not very fast. But I can throw like 8 million traps and flamethrowers at them. Just Yeah, we can get them all in one room. Then I can just like light them on fire, put a net on them, like all of that stuff. Yep. Use my Tesla coil. I don't think it's called Tesla coil, but there's definitely one that acts like a Tesla coil. Yeah. Um, I, I think our difficulty is going, it has gone up because I'm level three now. Yeah. And it's rounded up. So it's, so now we're three, but then because we're minus one, so all of our bad guys are now twos instead of ones. Okay. Um, Which means any cave bears we may encounter are at least 11 in health. Wow. Well, we have two, right, from the get-go. Yep. Um, let's do a city event. I didn't buy anything. I have 10 gold, but I didn't buy anything. I have six gold, so I obviously didn't buy anything. I am poor. <laughs> we are at two prosperity now, which is good. Yes, we are at two prosperity now, which means that when either of our guys retire, our girls, I guess they're both female, um, then we can make a level two character from the get go. Okay, I'm drawing a card. Event number four. Um, all right. Having recently returned from your latest adventure, you are apprehended by a ratty looking boy in tears. Please, sirs, or I guess madams, <laughs> could you please help me with my cat? He went over there and I'm afraid. The boy points to a dirty points a dirty finger at a decrepit abandoned building. I don't know what else to do. Do we uh, find the cat? Wait, do we um, find the cat? We have more important things to do. Or um, 
reassure the boy and actually go find the cat. Obviously, we actually go find the cat. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't go find the cat? Straight up good. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, what did we do? You approach the foreboding house full of heroic bravado. There's certainly nothing otherworldly about the structure, but its fallen beams and piles of rubber, or rubble, sorry, do make it difficult to look around. By the time you find the cat hiding under a burned out bed frame, you are utterly exhausted. At least the boy is ecstatic. His cat has been found. We each lose one check mark, uh, but we gain a reputation. Okay. I mean, sad because I finally had a check mark, but. But oh, we're now um, shop price, we're now reputation level three, which means that we have a shop price modifier of minus one. So now we get to save a little money, which is good because I'm poor. Where's our reputation, anyways? It is now three. Oh, there, I found it. Shop price modifier minus one. So that means things that would normally cost 10 now cost nine? I think so, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess everything adds up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wait. Now we do a road event on our way to wherever this is, Vibrant Grotto. OK, road event number five. You are traveling through a small wooded area when you round a bend and find a group of Enox warriors fighting a band of armored humans. With all the commotion, it's hard to discern more details, but the humans look like guards from Gloomhaven. You are not sure why they would be out here fighting the Inox, though. Do we option A, help the Inox, or do we option B, help the humans? If they're guards, then wouldn't we help them? And we yeah, already they're... we already have a, um, a reputation of destroying Inox. It's the Inox. So, so shouldn't we help the Enox because we're trying to like make up for our Yeah, make up for the fact that we killed their children? Or I don't know though, because the guards might be guards or they could be thieves that stole guard uniforms. Where's the walk past <laughs> so like, oh shit, they just run away. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want that one. <laughs> Crap, I'm out. <laughs> Imagine this in real life, right? If you were walking down the street and you saw like a group of cops fighting a group of like mercenaries, the decision isn't do you help the mercenaries or do you help the cops? The decision is where the hell do you hide? <laughs> <laughs> and then film it on your camera. <laughs> um, on your phone. Which side note, phone. phones should not get to be phones when they're being other things. I don't <laughs> like when people interrupt my Facebook scrolling <laughs> by calling me. Stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know who we help. I'm. I think we help the guards because we are allied with Gloomhaven. We are allied with Gloomhaven. But why are they out in the middle of the woods fighting Enox anyway? That's true. But maybe the Enox are just Sarah's guard Enoxes. Could be. I don't know. I think we help the guards. We don't For have very much information to go on. Yeah. I think we help the guards. Okay, we're going to help the guards. Help the humans fight the Enox. Turn card. Uh, with your arrival, the Enox retreat back into the woods, one of them casting hexes as he flees. Blast it all, one of the guards says. Patrol duty is the absolute worst. No matter what we tell those savages, they're convinced we're going to take over their forest. Anyway, thanks for your help. I thought we were done for. We all start with a curse. Sad. But we gain a reputation. Okay. Sad about the curse. Yep, but now we're at rep four. Yes, we are. 
which is good because we were negative reputation for a little while because remember we tried to shoot the rat thing in the middle of a crowd of people and they did like that <laughs> seemed not very good neighborly of us <laughs> <laughs> well the other option was to like chase it and dive into the sewers yeah <laughs> and you're a good shot we didn't hit anybody <laughs> Okay, those, those are our events. Um, we are <laughs> in scenario seven at level two. Yes. Okay. Um, and we've got a couple of bears, one and two. An elite, uh, whatever that is, fairy. She's like a wood nymph or something. Forest nymph. So she's got curse and shield. Does the curse last forever for the rest of the game? I mean, maybe oh. we might end up with like a bazillion curses in our deck, right? Yeah, it's gain curse attack modifier card. So yeah, you just keep adding. What if we run out of cards to add? I mean, we each have our own little pile of curses, so we should be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are going to fail at this. <laughs> I mean, we're going to succeed really well. It's going to be great. <laughs> Definitely not going to have trouble. Yeah. I think we're going to have to do your kiting idea. Well, we'll see, I guess. Um, I think that our other options, wait, okay, so the forest imp has a range of three and the cave bears have no range. So as long as we stay well away from the forest imp. Yeah, but the cave bears move four. That's pretty fast. Oh, that is pretty fast. I mean, they are bears. Bears are fast. Freaky fast. If, if one ever comes at you, it's like super freaky. Oh yeah. Have you been chased by a bear? No. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was so. gonna say, you've been holding out on me, Mark, with the good stories. <laughs> I play fantasy games. <laughs> <laughs> Those you bears are fast, these, even if they're virtual. Bears are fast though. Because they're so big that even though they look not fast, they're fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if they don't like swipe at you, even if they if they just ram you, that's that's probably going to be very painful because of all that inertia well and they're they're very heavy so if they stomp on you you're not going to be well no. even if they don't bite you which they're probably going to bite you we don't well, have bears here either so i don't have to worry about that centipedes yes bears no oh, speaking of bears did you hear that uh, those two pandas actually got it on after 10 years <laughs> I did. I saw that. They were like finally okay with it because the people weren't there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the earth is like finally they're staying inside. <laughs> we can fix things now. Okay. Where are we going to start our, our um, non-panda related adventure? <laughs> we should read the intro. Oh, that's true. We should also do that. Would you like to read it or do you want me to read it? Why don't we both read it? Because it's long. In stereo. Oh, no. Oh. In, in turns. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to try to do a uh, harmonizing reading? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> this is going to take like four hours because we can't stop laughing. <laughs> uh, you first. OK. You gingerly step into the entryway of the crooked bone, uh, careful to avoid the broken glass, nails, and other treacherous things. You glance around the room and see nothing but the usual detritus. Detritus. Detritus? I don't know. Um, I before you... Hmm? I think it's detritus. Detritus? Okay. I don't know. Um, before you can call out to hail, though, an explosion from an upper room violently shakes the entire building. Damn it all to the abyss. Hale's disembodied voice yells out. I set up my work in the most out-of-the-way, uninviting, 
decrepit little hovel and grand idiot still managed to stumble in and disrupt my research. The translucent woman suddenly appears before, suddenly appears before. You do know that your mere presence in this building changes the flow of the ether, causing unanticipated currents that produce catastrophic consequences, right? I mean, how could you not know that? Hale closes her eyes and begins to take deep breaths, fading a little out of view with each exhale. Yes, I did agree to help you. I had hoped the memory was a nightmare of some kind, but it wasn't. So that can't be helped now. The least you can do in return, however, is to warn me before you cross the threshold. She gives you an icy stare. So what do you want anyway? Let's make this quick. You explain to her the situation with Jixera and the need to locate where she is hiding. Why are we doing a second favor for her? I don't know. Wait, okay, okay so turn. my turn. Actually, we should have done it so that one of us is a narrator and one of us reads the, the um, dialogue. Next time. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> ah, a simple scrying matter? Well then, we are in luck, Hale begins. Or rather, I'm in luck. The main component I would need for such a task is bitter root, is bite root. And I ran out of it just last week. I was going to gather more, but now I can send you out to get it instead. Everyone wins. Everyone uh, except those infernal forest imps who terrorize my usual gathering spot. I hope quite a few of them will end up dead. A small map drops in your hand, and with a wave of Hale's arms, a sudden powerful force pushes you out the door. Remember, ring the bell when you come back or wait 47 seconds before entering the door. You are able to follow the map to a network of small caves just north of the Dagger Forest. The place is teeming with life, lush, massive plants, as well as a number of hostile animals and imps. You prepare for their attack. Okay. This should go well. I thought she was helping. I thought she had agreed to help us already. Like we had to do something else for her to help us. Last time she left us sitting in the downstairs for like hours because she forgot about us. So. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna read that conclusion again. So, so last time we did Frozen Hollow, right? Yeah. Treasure must be found. We do something. She says, "Go here, get this orb for us." Right. Then. We do it, and then we bring the blue sphere to her. She looks at it. She says it's an interesting thing or whatever. And then she says, uh, I'm going to try to empower it and makes us touch it and everything. And then she says, the very last thing she says is, now that you have helped me in my endeavors, I suppose I should return the favor. Which I guess maybe is one of the other scenarios. We didn't, we weren't ready for any of those. We didn't unlock any of the other ones. And instead we're like, well, maybe you can scry for us. That's your favor. And then she's like, scrying? I actually need some components to do that. Okay. That makes sense. I don't know why we went back to Gloomhaven in the meantime, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. We get so we're not doing her a favor. We're just going to get the components that are needed for her to finish the job. Right. Got it. She could accompany us. I mean, that would be neighborly. Where do you want neighborly, to except for she sounds like a hermit witch. So, permit witches just send you on quests. They don't actually come with you. Um, where do you want to start? Um, I guess... I'm going to start as close to the chest as possible. Okay. So that's like over here? Is that a good idea? I moved there. The bears are just going to come and attack me. Well, so I was trying to be as far away from the bears as possible with like obstacles in the way that they'll have to go around. Okay. What if I think it's a trap going for that chest immediately? What if I went through this door instead and made my way around? That could work, or I could end up in a corner surrounded by everybody. <laughs> This is really bad. Like you can't, you can't loot. Um, yeah. So to, like, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. I need to move at least 52 spaces in order for us to do this. Unless you do the one in the top last, because that was the one that added the most. So like if you zoom over to here to the, the blue one next and um, grab that treasure, then grab this one, this one, this one, this one, and then that one. I think that's shorter. But still a long way. We may be in trouble. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be shorter going like this, and then down here, and then up. Oh, okay. That makes sense, yeah. That's the least amount of backtracking. So that'll probably be about, that'll save about 10 tiles, it looks like maybe. So 40, about like 45 tiles is, or 45 spaces. Um, my move, I think I can average move about maybe three or four. So that's going to be like, um, you know, <laughs> at least 15 turns, about 12 to 15 turns. We haven't made it past about seven or eight turns. Eight or not, we might have made it to turn 10 once, but not often. This might be impossible, this scenario. Yeah, that's what I was wondering when we were setting up. In which case, we'd have to go back and do the gloom. Yeah, but also it's kind of a crazy rule because what happens if we had chosen two characters who don't even have any loot actions at all? And are there, well, we were both tinkerers, you mean? Or are there, is there another one that doesn't have any loot actions? I don't know. I have no idea, but it's yeah. possible, right? If yours doesn't. Yeah, mine doesn't. There's there. Um, there might be one, but it was like you. If you use it, you're done. Hold on. Let me look really fast. Even one would help a lot if you use it on your very last turn. Oh, I do have, I have one, but I can only use it once. So let me switch that out. We'll just pretend like I definitely did this while I was in town. Okay. I'm going to switch out of this one. So... I would need to move probably at least for 10 turns, I would need to be moving. And then for like four turns, I need to not be moving because I need to be looting. Yeah, well, you can, are your loots all on the bottom? Yes. One of them is uh, move as you loot though, so that's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, the ones where you loot every space you walk through. Uh huh. It helps a little, anyway. Um, I mean, now I can loot. Wait, does this mean I get to loot anything within two spaces? Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. Okay. It's big. It's a big area. That's one. That's good. Yeah, so then I only need to get close to whatever I we need you need me to loot. But I can't like I can't loot anything else on the way. I can loot gold, but I can't loot any other treasure on the way. Mm -hmm. And you can only do it once. Mm -hmm. so we'll save it towards the end, and then like I think we'll have you. Probably loot this one in this room. That makes sense. 
it's still going to be a long way for you. This is going to be pretty crazy. Like, I think I'm going to have to just run for it and ignore the, the monsters. And hopefully not get hit too much. Yeah. Luckily, I have 11 hit points now. Oh, that's good. And I won't be able to keep up, so I'm not going to be able to heal you. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to go great. Let me actually get rid of one of my heal cards then, rather than, yeah, this you go over there. Because this is an attack, and that one was just healing. And if I can't keep up with you, there's no point in holding on to the heal. I do have a, I can turn invisible. So like on one of my, one of my things, I'm going to turn invisible, I think. All right, this is gonna go great. If we fail this today, I think we should go do the gloom next time and then come back. Yeah, unless it's like really close. Yeah. But I doubt it's gonna be really close. I don't close. think it's gonna be close. I think we're about to see a massacre of epic proportions of me. <laughs> As I try desperately to hang on. <laughs> Okay, so then where are you actually starting? Um, I'm trying to figure that out right now. I'm gonna start as close to that thing as the chest as possible. Okay. And hope, hope, hope they don't just totally just demolish me. Um, okay, I've got 16. Hold on, I didn't think that far ahead. Okay, I have 18. They have 43 and 60. So okay. the, the sprite is going to move, attack, and curse. And then the bears are going to move and attack. Oh, attack four. Jesus Christ. How far are they moving? Three. Mm. Oh, oof. I'm going to get wailed on so bad. <laughs> great. This is oh, great. Oh, wait. Yeah, um, we forgot to do these. Oh, right. <laughs> Not that it matters, because this could be bad. <laughs> right. These only, we, we don't, they only matter if we succeed. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have an epic run, and we'll miracle, miracle, pull this off. <laughs> you I keep that you. hope alive, Mark. <laughs> uh, hold it up a little bit. Okay, I got it. <laughs> one of them. One of mine is. Don't do any looting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that That's one. What I had last time. So don't do that one. Okay, um, I'm gonna show which one I'm doing. I'm gonna do this one. And I am doing I'm doing this one. Okay. So me first. So I'm just going to go with this plan, uh, and then I'm going to be completely demolished. So one, two, three, movement, and then loot one. So I'm taking this loot. 
Do these things do anything? No, it's just loot. It's not, they're not numbered or anything. Okay. Well, we've got one. We got one. Okay, your turn. Okay. So I'm going to. Should I be trying to distract them and like get them away from you? Probably. I don't know. I mean, if you could. Can you throw down a decoy like right here? Because if so, they're going to go after your decoy instead of me. Right, but I already picked and I didn't pick decoy because I'm going to hold on to decoy for a little bit longer. Okay. Well, then I'm, I, I may very well die this first turn. <laughs> if they hit for four. We'll see. Okay. Maybe I got leather armor. I don't know. Maybe we'll all let go. Okay, or you I'm going to go. Mobilize them? <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to try to do something. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two to right here. And then I'm going to attack this guy for one and stun him, I hope. So plus zero. So I attacked him for one. So this, the one by the thorns, is now stunned. Okay. So and he has one point of damage on him. Yeah, one whole point of damage. Woohoo! But at least he's not going to do anything to me. Wait, stunned and mobilized? Stunned. Which one is the stunned? It's the one that looks like a little explosion. A little explosion? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's not going to attack me at least. Yeah. Um, all right. And that's your turn? Yep. Okay, the little pixie has a range of three. One, two. I'm within range, so she's just going to attack me. Uh, attack one with a curse. Uh, okay. Um, attack one plus zero is one point of damage. And you're cursed again. And I'm cursed. Great. As long as you're not attacking anything, though, it doesn't matter. So just run around and loot and don't try to attack anything. That's true. I haven't got shuffled like deck yet, but I guess that doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> okay, so the bears. This guy's immobilized, so he's not doing anything, or stunned, so he's not doing anything. The other guy moves three and attacks four. So he's just going to move one space and attack me. Four. I'll probably use my leather armor. Four plus zero. Should I use my leather armor? What does leather armor do? Makes him draw another card and pick the worst one. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm guess. not going to be able to heal you, so. Drew another zero. Um, so that's four damage. Sad. Okay, next round. Great. All right, I guess I should probably summon my decoy. <laughs> I'm cheating and looking at the rooms because there's no way we'd be able to do this without knowing what's going to come up. And if you die, then we're done because <laughs> I can't loot everything. Mm -hmm. I have 19. Okay. Oh man, so how hard are these, um, are the elementals, earth demon? I think pretty hard. I haven't looked very hard at them. Yeah, they're high, they're high, uh, high health. Yeah, but slow moving. I'm gonna have to run around this guy, I think. Um, mm -hmm. 
come move them and then maybe do this. No, that's not a good idea. Um, Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> okay, I have four. Yeah, your goal is going to be to go first every time, which is usually doable for you. Okay, the bears have 13. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wait, well, how, what do you have? 19. So the bears are going before me. Dang. Yeah, Dang. I accidentally put in 10 for you. But so it's me, then the bears, then you, then the fairy. Um, I'm going to move five. One, two. Then put stuff in here. One of these guys. He's very tall. The bear? No, the. Oh, the, I mean, yeah, the human guy. Human. That's two. The earth demon spawns. He's got 79. He moves last. Um, and he's going to be moving two, attacking three. Okay, so um, he's going to be within range of anywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Yikes. <laughs> That really sucks. <laughs> this is this is not a good <laughs> scenario for us. <laughs> I think I need to retreat. I think I need to come back. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> Great. Yeah, okay, I'm moving back two spaces. Okay. Throw my knives at this guy. Okay. <laughs> so I have attack two, range three. Oh, you got shuffle. enough plus one so that's three damage to this guy number two he's got eight hit points Woo, man <laughs> <laughs> okay now the bears move they move five and attack two what so this guy moves to you one two three and draws a zero so two points of damage And the bear, the other bear moves towards me one, I believe, and then draws a minus two. Yay! Zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, because are getting tense there. Okay, my turn? Yeah. Okay, I immobilize this bear and I back up two spaces to where I started. And then I summon my decoy between me and the bear. So there you have it. There's my turn. 
It was terrible. It's terrible. I mean, now you're going to have to like run around them and everything. Or something. Okay. No, he's good. I'm still in the same terrible boat that I was just in a minute ago, just with more damage against me. Um, okay, the the fairy has a range of three. I'm out of range, so it'll move towards me one. And then attack me for two points and a curse. I'm now down to four hit points, and I now have another curse. Which I assume means I shuffle again, huh? <laughs> this is worse than the first one we did. <laughs> the, the Earth Demon moves too. We go one, two. This is terrible. <laughs> This lady, she can teleport and stuff. Why doesn't she just come in here and get these freaking things herself? She thought we were going to kill the imp for her. Joke's on her. <laughs> we're not barbarians. <laughs> OK, next round. Um. So sad, okay. <laughs> so sad indeed. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna die in this first set, two set of rooms. Because of bears. Bears are the real menace here. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, how hard do these earth demons typically hit? Three. I don't think they were. They're super hard hitting. Okay, I might. Have oh no, to... three. They hit for three. I should use one of my health potions. No, I don't have a health potion. <laughs> I should have bought a health potion. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> uh, we spent so much time looking for that cat. <laughs> God damn it. OK, I think I'm going to have to burn one of my cards. Uh, OK, I'm ready. I have 11. I have 47. This is going to be our shortest one ever. It'll, most of our, this video will be us like setting up and just talking about shit at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and then dying horribly in a grotto. Yeah, okay. I am moving five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. And then I'm turning invisible. Ooh, that's oh. a good move. Now they're all going to come for me. That is true. Um, and the fairy goes before you. It's got 43. So it has a range of three. So it's going to move three. It's going to move one, two. It's going to move two spaces. So it's within range of you. And then it shoots you for one point of damage, possibly, um, but also curses you. Ooh, it whiffed. It doesn't hit you at all. You're not cursed. <laughs> and now it's your turn. <laughs> OK. So first, I'm going to shield myself and the decoy, because I'm afraid of bears. Wait, is this guy still immobilized, since he had already had his turn? He is still and immobilized. Next, yeah. End of next turn. So yeah, so he's still immobilized. OK. OK, oh wait, so then my guy has to move. So he goes like one. No, he would go. He would go towards the immobilized guy. Never mind. One useless thing. Um, so never mind. I don't shield him. I just shield myself. Don't you get to determine where he moves. The decoy moves. 
he uses the um, he uses the monster movement. And then I attack three range of three. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the imp, I think, because she has fewer hit points. OK. Um, and I get a plus two, so I attack her for five. Yeah, but it has a shield. Oh, so I attack her for four. Yes. That was OK. Yeah, that was good. I feel like that was good. But then what does this bear over here do to me? Oh, yeah, right. I was like picking cards already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that bear moves four. One, two, three, four, right on you. Yep. And I die. Attack for two plus times two, so four <laughs> points of damage. Do I have anything to help with that? I do not. Four points of damage? You could... You could burn a card. I don't think that's a good plan. Okay. I do have a I do have an attack modifier that heals me for two. Or I could <laughs> or I could be insane and I could just, you know, uh do a long rest. <laughs> okay. And then this guy doesn't move. He's got move zero. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> but he he activates a green power. Ooh. What happened? That's weird. Not good. Is it okay on your phone? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's working on my phone. We got cocky and tried to do two scenarios in one week. <laughs> and then we were mauled by bears. Weird. I mean, it's still uh, rotating the screen and everything. That is true. Can you hear the bird chirping? He's right there, right above the computer. He mad. I know you want in on this Gloomhaven game, buddy. Okay, we're back. And we're back. Okay, next round. Next round. I'm still invisible until my turn. Okay. I have I've, my number. I've got uh, 93. <laughs> <laughs> I have 34. What? 34. 34. All right, the, the little guy goes first. It's going to do a strengthen. Affect all allies within two range. Both bears. Both bears. <laughs> and muddle. Target all enemies within two range. You're not within two range. But it's going to strengthen the both bears. <laughs> and then it'll be your turn. And then the bears... Will eat me. <laughs> One of them... They don't, they don't move, so this guy will be. Well, this guy will attack the decoy. This guy will attack you, um, unless you're. You can move out of the way because they don't. They're not moving this turn. So if you get out of his range, then you'll be. Able oh, to sweet! Move. I can do that. Okay. What does strengthen do? I don't know. It's got this. Oh, the arm thing. Okay. Icon. Let me see. 
advantage on attacks. Oh, okay. But remove at the end of the next turn. So they'll lose it after this turn. Okay, so the fairy goes first, uh, strengthens the two bears, um, and then that's it. And then your turn. Okay. I am moving one, two, three. Yep. And then I am attack two, range three, target two. So I'm attacking the bear and the imp. Okay. Um, I guess I'll start with the imp. Minus one. So since she has a shield, I do zero damage. And then the bear, minus one. So I do one whole luxurious bit of damage to this bear. Wow, that was crappy. <laughs> worst turn, not quite the worst turn ever, but darn close to the worst turn ever. Um, okay, the bears will go. They both, this guy attacks this guy. Mm -hmm. This bear attacks the decoy. Draws a plus zero, so four points of damage to the Oh, decoy. he has advantage. Oh. Draws a zero again, so just four points of damage. Okay. My decoy is okay because it doesn't take any damage yet. Okay, and then the other bear attacks the air. Um, the earth demon heals itself, but it's not hurt at all, and that's it. Oh wait, oh, oh, it doesn't see me. If it saw me, it would immobilize me. <laughs> wait, doesn't it need it? What is that? It needs the. It needs the green thing in it, and it activated the green thing last turn. Oh, okay. But, but it, it doesn't see me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And I think that's... Oh, now it's my turn. Um, I am moving to and looting everything that I go through. One, two. And then I'm attacking the air. Mm. And then I also am losing my invisibility. I get two XP for that, at least. That's good. Yeah, I got two XP for summoning my contraption. I have to take a short rest. Okay, I'm okay for now. Okay. So far, well, I only have four hit points. I don't know, but so far, uh, it's looking okay. I think we've got through, got through half of the, or maybe a third of the obstacles, right? Now yeah, I just, except for now I have two bears and an imp between me and the thing you need me to loot. Yeah. And I only have three hit points. You don't have any way to... Um, I could do a long rest. You should have done a suicide mission and just ran for it and then looted it immediately. <laughs> um, it may come to that. <laughs> I have to take a hit point of damage to draw another card, I think. OK. Okay, let me look at the next room. Oh boy. No good. These no good. Mm. 
Okay, this is going to be a power move, a power play for me. The suicide, suicide move. Yeah. <laughs> I've got four. I have 46. No, 46. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, the fairy's gonna, the imp's gonna go before you. Okay. All right. With four, I am moving five. One, two. And then this thing gets populated with a imp and a inox. An elite in ox. Yep. And isn't that one of the ones that does like can summon things? Oh no. I guess that not. sucks. I don't think it's actually the case. I'm lying. Okay, that imp is number seven. I'll put that there. Inox is number one. Okay, so that was one, two, uh, three, four, five. <laughs> and then um, for my other card, I'm moving three, one, two. And we'll see what's in that room. Another bear. Bear number three. Um, so that was one, two, and my third. Wait, the bears are going to move. Four. Oh crap. Um, the imp moves for the guy will heal. That's fine. Um, okay, I'm going to move here, I guess. One space in. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, so the imps first and then you, right? Yep. Okay, the imps move have move four and heal two, range three. Are they healing themselves or healing somebody else? I think they heal somebody else. Okay. Wait, so does this mean this imp flies this way because the only people who are hurt are in this room? I guess. I I wonder, I feel like that's gotta be heal themselves because then it doesn't make sense. They had, there's nothing about them flying to each other. Well, but it has to be healing something else. Why would it put a range on it? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know then. I think it tries to heal something that's hurt, which means it flies towards, towards this room. Let me look really quick if it okay. says in the book. Because I thought it was only, it only moves towards us, you know? Having abilities other than attack on its ability card does not affect the monster's movement in any way. It will simply move according to the above rules and then use its other abilities as best as it can. So they're, they're gonna move towards us and then try to heal other things. Okay. So maybe the range three is like where it's gonna stop moving. It's already within range of three of me, so it's not gonna move towards me. Okay, yeah. This guy is going to stay where he is and just heal, I guess, the most hurt bear, right? 
I would imagine, yeah. Which is number two, healing for two. So this guy now has nine hit points instead of seven. Great. Okay, now it's your turn. Now it's my turn, okay. So um, I am going to move three and also use my boots of striding so that I can move five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that I'm kind of like going around everybody. Mm -hmm. And then I have attack to range three. I'm going to try to get rid of this imp for once and for all. I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles so that I get advantage. Don't you have to, like you can decide after you see the first card drawn, right? I think yeah. you can. That's how we've been playing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use those because that was <laughs> minus one. Curse. What was it? Curse? curse? Oh, so I guess you're taking it minus one. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm taking the minus one. But then they have a shield. So I just did nothing. Oh. <laughs> Which is essentially the same thing as the curse card. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. OK. I feel like this scenario is made for more players. Um, <laughs> Okay, bear number one is not going to move because it's within range of the decoy, attacks the decoy with a plus one, so three points of damage on the decoy. Decoy is dead. Decoy is dead. Bear number two moves one space to be next to you, attacks you for two, uh, two minus one is one point of damage. Wait, the bear's not next to me. I'm way over here. Oh, wait, you're right. Sorry, I was thinking that was you. It moves, but it moves four, so it does move next to you. One, two, three. And then it attacks you for one point of damage. Two hit points left. <laughs> and then that bear moves towards me and attacks me for two points of damage. So are you also down to two points? I'm down to one right now because I had to burn one in order to lose a card that I didn't want to, you know. Hmm. I think we're down to our last turn there, Mark. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, the Earth Demon moves one space in here and powers up a green thing. The Enoch Shaman moves and heals. Um, so I guess if it's following the rules for moving, moves two towards me and then heals nobody. Yeah. OK, next round. You know what? I'm doing a short rest at the end of that round. Got thirty six. Hold on, half a second. <clears throat> this is very possibly going to be our last round. I mean, I can, you know, start discarding cards instead of dying, but then I'm going to start running out of cards. Yeah. Okay. I have nineteen. Okay. 
the shaman first, then the bears, then you, then me, then the imp, then the earth demon. I'm just going to put these down because I'm about to die. <laughs> uh, doesn't need to move. Oh, will move because doesn't want disadvantage. Move back one, shoots me for three, immobilizes me, which totally sucks. Shoots me for three, plus one, I'm dead. I have to discard a card, right? Um, so I'm going to discard this guy. So I'm not dead. And then, uh, but I am immobilized, which means I can't move, which really sucks. Um, now the bear is going to kill you. Yeah, the bear moves. <laughs> Should we do these bears first, I guess? Bear number one moves five towards you. One, two, three, like that, I guess. Attacks you for two, minus one, so one point. Bear number it. two whiffs. I'm still not dead! <laughs> Bear number three attacks me for three points of damage, and I have to discard another card. Um, this guy. Now it's your turn. Okay. Well, that changes what I'm going to do a little bit. Um, I'm going to move one, two, three. Mm, yeah, one, two, three to the other side of that thorns and I'm going to use my net shooter um, and that is uh, attack three range three and immobilize so let's start I guess with this bear the one that's closest to me so attack three plus zero so I attack three him whichever one's closest yep one two three he has six hit points left okay bear number two Three plus zero is three. He's got seven. Okay. And then attack three, the uh, imp. Two times. So six. He's dead. Dead. And the bears are both immobilized, just FYI. Okay. That went really well, except I only have one hit point. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, wait, um, I have to shuffle now, too, because I got my two times one. Yeah. Uh, the forest imp on me moves three, attacks two, range three. Doesn't need to move. Attacks me for plus one, so I have to discard another card, which will be this guy. Um, You're going to get exhausted. Yeah. Like then the earth demon uh, heals itself. Doesn't do anything next round. Oh, wait, not next round. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, I can't move, so this is not happening. But I can attack. So I'm attacking for two points uh, the bear plus zero. <laughs> That bear now has nine, and I have to take a long rest because I have no cards in my hand. So you're going to take a nap next to the bear. <laughs> yep. I'm like, hold on, hold on, time out. <laughs> <laughs> that will definitely work. This is going to go great. <laughs> but you okay. do heal two, you heal two points with a long rest. Yeah, maybe they won't hit me. I'm wondering if I should take a long rest, too, because I now only have one hit point, and these guys are immobilized. Okay. We're okay. both taking long rest. Long rest, yeah. <laughs> the bears have three. Ooh, hey, the bears don't attack. Because um, they're totally surprised that we both just went out to take a nap. All the bears heal. Two points. Okay. Do, do. 
So they took a long rest too. Those jerks. Basically, the <laughs> shaman, however, moves for attacks to range three. Doesn't want to move. Uh, attacks me for zero point uh, or two points of damage. I have to discard two of my cards. One. Ooh. Two, I guess. These two cards are now being discarded. I have three cards left. Oh no, but I'm going to be discarding one from a long rest. I'm only going to have one. Uh, I'm going to be able to do one turn. Um, we can we just end it. Yes. Chests. We have three chests to loot, so. Yeah, the game's over. And he curses me too, to top it off. <laughs> I was so hopeful after that last turn went so well. I was like, maybe we can do this. And then that guy heals himself again. And then this guy moves and attacks. Attacks so me uh, for three points of damage. I have to discard a card. So yeah, I'm dead. So I'm going to be discarding card, and then for the long rest, I have to discard card. I'm only going to have one card left, so I'm dead. Okay. But you're not dead. The I'm scenario. not dead, but I can only loot one chest. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's probably not even worth... We should just call it? Yeah, let's just call it. Okay. I ran away because I got sad that I couldn't loot all the chests. I got two XP. I actually got five XP. But no loot of any kind, and I almost got killed by bears. I got cursed three times, and then we got cursed at the very beginning before we started. Four curses in my deck. <laughs> That's terrible. We're not going to do this one. <laughs> We're not trying this one again, at least not until something not until else. Not until we unlock another character or something like that. Yeah. Did I only get cursed once? Looks like it. I only got cursed once. We got Somehow. two choices. Okay, so don't try scenario seven with this group of characters. Yeah. It's a bad idea. I think it's I think it's our weak link is you. <laughs> All the I healing mean, abilities that you have, you're you're you would be great in a larger party, I think. Yeah, which is the thing that I had heard about the tinkerer after we decided this. But let the record show, I have ended several scenarios by winning while you were lying on the floor. That's so, true. My I character would be better with a uh, with a tank of some sort because yeah, we, we many of my abilities require adjacency. Mm -hmm. We did not think about these things when we pick characters we were just like that sounds cool so sad face to us well are we supposed to i mean i guess we could have looked at all the abilities and everything i read the I bio. A little bit, but i'm just i don't play as a tank so when i went I, by the bio i was like this sounds interesting <laughs> i picked because I think I picked because like crossbow and like contraptions and I like contraptions. Like I, when I play RPGs, I tend to solo. I'm not a big, I'm, I'm a really bad guildy because I don't show up for things because I've got 8 million other things on my plate. So I only get to play like for little short periods of time. So I have to solo everything because I can't be like, hey Mark, I've got 15 minutes. Do you want to boot up this game and play for 15 minutes and then bye? So, um, this sounds like one you could solo. Turns out, no, you cannot solo this character. This character will die. But if you save your area of effect spells for the end, you can sometimes save the day. So which one would we be doing next? We have to go back to do one of the gloom ones, right? Yeah, the next gloom one was, um, it was the Crypt, I think. We, have we done number four? Maybe with Crypt of the Damned. Hold on. 
Yeah, Crypt of the Damned. So number four. And it's now way harder than it was because we've leveled up. Are you sure we haven't done this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't have it checked off. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do next. Yeah, because we went to the Enox encampment instead. Yeah. Yep. So we're getting back on track because we failed. Because we are not greedy enough to have enough loot activities in our hands. All right. Well, Run away. Uh, <laughs> I am going to end the recording. This is exciting. <laughs> Worst run ever.